Hey guys, welcome back to Ferrigno Freedom YouTube channel. It is such a pleasure to have you here and I have enjoyed doing this new thing I've been doing where I review some things on YouTube that refer to carnivore diet or are nutrition and diet related. And there is something I wanted to share with you. And I really, this kind of is part of the fact that I'm, I'm really learning how to do this. I don't know if you've noticed, but some of the editing in my previous two videos where I did these type of reactions was a little strange. Sometimes you could see the pause video, sometimes you couldn't. I was having a terrible time trying to figure out how to do this until I figured out how to work my broadcast software the proper way. So now that I finally got it done right, I'm going to make one more broadcast, one more reaction video for you here because first of all, I want to share something with you that I really enjoy. And that's a YouTube channel that I watch called Ryan George. I found Ryan George on Screen Rant. He does these pitch meetings for movies. And some of you, I'm sure, have seen him because he gets millions of views. But the pitch meetings are hilarious. It's really him talking to him, but it shows him as like a, 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 a guy produced that's making a movie, talking to a production company about how he's going to make the movie. And he's really breaking down what these movies do, even though the movie doesn't really present that in such a way. It's a comedy channel. Anyway, you got to watch his videos to be able to get that. But you'll kind of get it from watching this. Because in this video, he is talking about the first guy to ever eat dessert. And I thought that the humor here was so apropos to what we deal with as carnivores, especially when it comes to talking to people who are still in the matrix, basically, that haven't taken the red pill to try a carnivore diet and find out how it's going to change things for them. And it was just a humorous way, I thought, to point out to some people, you know, at some point we've got to just start admitting to ourselves that we're not making good choices here. And maybe if we made some better choices, we would get better results. So anyway, without any further ado, let me bring up this video and we'll take a look at it. Wow, that was a tasty. I enjoyed the food. Yeah. Yeah, good food that we're finished eating. Really, really good stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What if we kept going? Psh, oh man, I don't know, I'm pretty full. I cannot stress how little that matters to this concept. I'm not sure what you're suggesting. I had this idea the other day, right? What if we keep eating a bit, but just sweet stuff, just sweet. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean by sweet anyway? Like a piece of fruit? In the same vein as fruit, yeah, but much more elaborate and with none of the nutritional value. Okay. See, I'm starting to suspect that eating sweet stuff releases a very fun chemical in your brain. Isn't that right, brain? I can't see your brain. Oh yeah, that's right, you can't see my brain. Anyway, I had this science guy prepare a bunch of stuff. A science guy? Yeah, he's just like a wacky science guy, you know. He made me process and refine these plants until there were nothing but crystals of sweetness. <laughs> it's not right, it's not natural. Yeah, it turns out that stuff is actually too sweet on its own, so I had him use it to make a bunch of other crazy stuff. He threatened my family? You gotta help me. Okay, he said- How perfect is this? This is hilarious how he is- pointing out <laughs> what a great face this is hilarious how he is pointing out exactly how processed sugared foods are made that's a wacky science guy whoa that was pretty wacky ah okay so like what's 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 this stuff oh that stuff's real good that stuff's made with something called cocoa beans mm, oh man that is amazing oh it is amazing i even came up with a catchy name for that stuff oh yeah oh you're gonna like this a lot i thought we could call that good brown stuff i feel like there's probably a better name than that yeah you're right i'll figure it out okay hold on this one he has a whole nother series where he talks about naming stuff how they came up with the names for different fruits and all kind of things so He's just alluding to other humor that he does there. It has a hole in it. What's going on there? Yeah, you put a hole in the middle of those ones I decided. Get that out of here. No one wants to see it. That's pretty weird. Well, this is actually, I feel like I'm having like a boost of like manic energy here. I feel like I don't need to blink anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. That happens for sure. Wow. And that's going to kind of abruptly end. What? You're going to suddenly crash. You're going to be exhausted. <laughs> it's going to be awful. Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't seem healthy. Oh yeah, no, this isn't healthy at all. This will probably make you gain some weight pretty fast. Maybe develop some diseases. Probably best not to. <laughs> eat a lot of it well you know despite having that information now i still would like to eat a lot of it well yeah no that's because it's also <laughs> <a> <laughs> <laughs> i 
How is that just like all of us? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'd still like to have a lot of it, please. Just in, even though I know it's not healthy. Information now, I still would like to eat a lot of it. Well, yeah, no, that's because it's all so addictive. That's, oh, this seems problematic. But it releases the fun brain chemicals. Isn't that right, brain? I can't see, I can't see that. Right, my bad. What is, go what are these ones? Oh, yeah, I don't even know what we were thinking on that one. You shaped them like worms. Why'd you shape them like worms? No idea. He's insane, that's why. <laughs> hey now. Oh, the texture, it's all chewy. It's chewy, it's a fun one to eat. How'd you guys do that? He made me boil animal skin and tendons. What? He wanted to see what would happen. And bones and ligaments too. That's why it's chewy. Shut up, shut up, science guy. Oh my god. It's pretty good though, right? Despite the bone thing. I wish I didn't know that information. Okay, tell you what, you want something a little less processed? We actually discovered some other sweet stuff. It's all natural. Isn't that right, science guy? Please let me go. Here you go. Try a spoonful of this. I bet we can make some other fun sweet stuff with it too. Mm, oh wow, that no, that is very good. All natural, baby. No bones in this? No bo no bones actually made by bees, if you could believe that. This stuff? Well, how'd you get bees to make this? Oh, they actually, they just kind of regurgitate it. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi there, hello. So there you go, there it is. That's Ryan George doing his thing. He is hilarious. I, I love the way comedy has us take a look at life from a real point of view. And so many times comedy these days is squelched by political correctness to where we can't even take a moment to laugh at ourselves. But at the same time, addiction to sugar is not necessarily a laughing matter, but I like the way his video puts it in perspective, but at the same time drives that point home. What in the world are we doing? We know better than to eat those things, but we still eat them because our brain is being tricked. And it, the science guy being there, I mean, oh, this was just too funny. I had to share it with you guys, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. Real quick, I've got a quick message for you from Carnivore Crisps. If you'll stick around for that, and I'll see you next time. Could we maybe get some grease or fat?